Welcome back to Sorry Ridge Farm, Jacob. Uh, so today is a little bit of a special video. Y'all have been asking a lot on how we make our sweet tea. Um, to be honest, we don't do a whole lot, you know, real crazy or anything. Uh, but we're going to just show you how to do it because a lot of people like it. I've never had anyone that didn't like it. And the people that don't like sweet tea, really, I don't really care that much because sweet tea is the way to go. Non-sweet tea, uh, I can't do that. But, so we're going to get into making the sweet tea. Um, so the brand that we use, which is a little bit of a debate in our house between me and Alex. But Alex like Louisiana. Uh, I kind of grew up on Lipton and probably a lot of other people grew up on a lot of other stuff. But I kind of always liked Lipton and then I married Alex and now we do Louisiana. Um, so that's kind of the brand of tea that we use. And... What we like to do is do six bags. And the reason for that, I think for, and these are, I think, just like your regular size little bags. We don't like to use the gallon ones just because it feels like we don't get enough tea. Um, so we do six bags. You normally do four. We just, we really like our tea, really dark tea. Um, so we use a little bit more bags. So that's kind of one thing, maybe it's a little different. We do six bags. Um, so let me get the pot and I'll put some water in it and then I'll put the bags in and I'll kind of just go into further on how we do our tea. All right, so like I said, losing Louisiana now. So with the six bags, they, they come with these little, you know, uh, paper things. I just, we just ripped that off. Okay, because we're sticking it all in there. And I don't like these kind of falling in there and they get all gooey and then you got to pick them out. So I just rip them off. Every single one I rip off. What we got here? Two, four. So we got six. So we got six bags of Louisiana. Now I'm just going to fill it up. Now this is going to be for a gallon. Now here recently we drink a lot of tea. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. It's probably one of our little bad habits that we have. Um, so we've now kind of been making two gallons every time we make it, just because we don't have to make it as often later. So this is gonna be for a gallon. If you're wanting two, you just double everything, okay? So we have this is kind of our little tea uh, pot that we use for uh, a gallon. And we kind of use it so much that there is a little bit of a line, so I know exactly where to stop the water at. So we're going to let that fill up and we'll stick it over here on the stove and just keep furthering this process. All right, so uh, you, a lot of y'all may ask, you know, why don't you just use a, like a, what was it, a, I think like a quart of water with the bags and then you know you heat it up and then you stick it in the jug and you fill the rest up with water. I like to do a straight gallon of water and doing the tea in there because, and you even see me before, I was really kind of soaking those bags. I really want that tea to really get in there and start to, uh, you know, get into the water. And I really want a lot of tea. I don't want to water it down, you know, boiling it and then adding the water. I wanted to boil it with the tea bags in there with the whole gallon. So that may be one little different thing that we do. I just like to do that. I don't like watered down tea. We like it really, I, I like to say kind of thick. Um, so we got it on the stove. Now we're gonna turn it on high. Now we have done this long enough to know roughly around 16 minutes on our stove for high it'll get to a boil and that's what we want to get to right now is just a kind of a as soon as it starts to boil so we know it's about 16 minutes we put a timer because let me tell you uh life gets busy if you forget about this it's not good so we've just gotten into a habit especially me because it's usually me that uh forgets um we do a timer we hear that timer we know the tea is pretty much done right at that point so we're gonna wait the 15, or yeah, now it's 15, 15 minutes, and we'll come back to it when it's right at a boil.
All right, so it is at a rolling boil. It didn't take exactly 16 minutes. It kind of all depends on your sink, how hot the water is when you get it from your sink. Um, I think it, this one was a little bit hotter, so it didn't take that long. So I'm gonna turn it off just when it's getting to a boil. You don't wanna let it keep going any further. Just as soon as it starts rolling, cut it off. When it comes to this, it's, there's not a set time frame, but you're gonna let this steep. Now we like to let it steep for probably a lot longer than most people, but I'm talking, you know, four hours, you know, and probably further. Like I said, this is kind of, you know, it just, it, there's not a set time frame, but we like to go a lot longer. And I think that may be a little different than most. We don't put the sugar in right now. We just let it sit. We'll go off for the, you know, the day doing whatever. We'll come back just whenever we want to do it and start putting the, uh, the sugar in. And so what we do, it's going to be sitting on here for, you know, a few hours. So if you have a lid, stick the lid on it or this one doesn't have a lid we just use kind of like a little cheesecloth and we just stick it over the top and that just keeps any like bugs or anything that's going to fall in there out of it so we're going to let this thing kind of uh, steep for a good old long while and then we'll come back and we'll start uh, adding some ingredients all right so we have waited our you know four plus hours you know roughly just you know it's nothing crazy but just let it steep for a while and now we're going to be taking the bags out and we're going to be sticking them in our little kind of it's kind of like our compost uh little bucket uh we'll leave this down in the description uh if you're all looking for one because we do we compost our tea bags and you know we've used kind of like one of those ice cream jugs and those just get real nasty this one is specially made it has a filter and stuff so you cannot smell anything and we've had stuff in here for a long time and if this lid's on it you cannot smell it so it's a pretty uh cool thing that we have but so with the tea bags we have this special little tool it's actually kind of made for this you pick up the tea bag and what we like to do is press all this tea out because this pretty much this whole process i'm trying to get as much of the tea in there and so just that little bit six times i mean you get a little bit more tea you know we take our tea serious around here so we really try to get as much as we can out of it so just do that with all of them press them out get all the tea and then we're sticking in our compost and then we'll uh, continue the next step All right, so now we're going to be putting in the sugar. Now, this is probably the biggest debate on everything on how much sugar to put in. People put in all different types of amount, but what we do, we do a cup and a half. We used to do like two cups, and we just kind of realized we were drinking a lot of tea, and we tried one and a half, and it kind of was somewhat the same. It wasn't didn't change it as much, and so that's a little bit less sugar, a little bit more healthier. I mean, there's probably more ain't the most healthiest drink but so we use a cup and a half and it seems to work real nice that's what we like to do so we'll put a cup and a half here i'm using a half cup measurement we're just using a regular just you know white sugar nothing crazy all right and so now i'll get my uh, little tea bag tool again and i'll just start stirring it now this isn't, you know, boiling hot, so it's not evaporating real quick. Just keep stirring it, and you get a feel for it. Just keep stirring it, and sometimes the uh, sugar will be kind of stuck in the middle a little bit. So make sure you get the middle in there and just keep stirring it. You know, you've waited this long, make sure you get all the, the sugar to stir up, and make sure it's all dissolved before you pour it in there, because it will stick to the bottom if you don't completely you know uh spin it around so we'll just do that and then we'll be putting it in to the jug so at this point you could use like a little funnel to put in here but 
I like to live on the edge and try to really master pouring this in here without spilling it. Um, getting pretty good at it. All right, so once you got that in there, now see, didn't put a little bit of enough water, but that's okay. I'll just add a little bit of this water, and that's not much. So I'll add a little bit of it. Because we want to get as much tea as we can. Wipe that off. And then we just kind of roll it around. Clean the jug. Alright y'all. That's how you make the tea. There's one more thing you got to do.